And uh, Charlie Curtis Beard representing LHS. This is called Stardust. I've been told you're different because you actually know how to respect women. As if respecting women was a lost art, like respecting women was an unknown picture and I'm Leonardo da Vinci drawing it out years before it even existed as if every single guy is in a pack of wolves that only want sex and slowly stalk their prey as if I'm Thomas Edison and girls are light bulbs and it took me thousands of tries before I could actually get it right. See, I didn't have a dad for the first seven years of my life, so I spent a large amount of my childhood looking for the definition of masculinity, but I was looking in dictionaries and indexes that were made by deadbeat dads and child abusers, so I don't think I have the answer yet. But I feel like my definition will differ from what society perceives. Because of this, I've been called prude, like I rolled too far from the tree of disrespect, rolled over to the much shorter tree that was planted where black teens like me would actually get killed for saying hi to a white woman because it was considered disrespectful. But when did those black teens become our idols? And when did Emmett Till ever ride up to his best friend's house and a Ford Focus wearing Nikes and snapbacks and co conversating over terms of bros before hoes? Did you smash though? Have you hit that? Have you tapped that? If these are flashbacks, then it's no wonder why it's perceived that all guys have remained exactly the same. It's a wonder how our sexuality follows us around like our shadows. As a man, I'm taught to wear it on me like it's my skin, but what happens if my skin is already black? I've been told that boys will be boys and boys will be men and men sleep with women, so just do it, but I am no man. These hands are not the match that ignites women's innocence and nor are they the firefighters that take them out. I am no God, I'm simply just an alien see in high school. I never remembered a single thing about pre-cal, but I'm constantly reminded how to take a woman's virginity as fast as a freight train can take a life, use lies to get inside of her and use heartbreak to tear your way out through her chest. This is no game, Charlie. You man up or be a punk because virginity? Virginity is not a prerequisite to masculinity. You hit it and you quit it. In order to be a man, you must lose your virginity as fast as a gust can take away a flame. But I feel like Thomas Edison because I'm still so afraid of the dark. I think I'll keep this light. See, I don't know what being a man is yet, but I know that I'm only a skyscraper, as tall as my torn beliefs reaching for it. My dad assures me that I'm getting closer every day, but I can't see through all this darkness. So until I reach it, I think I'll keep this light. Woo! Yeah!